Good morning. If I could uh, ask everyone uh, to take a seat, and I think it goes without saying, uh, if you could kindly silence uh, any cell phones, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Angela Diano, and I am the Executive Director with Alpha One Canada. On behalf of myself and the Alpha One founder, Mimi McFedrin, and the Alpha One Canada Board of Directors, we would like to thank you for taking the time to travel to Point Claire, Quebec today. For those of you who could not be with us uh, here in Quebec and are joining us uh, via live stream, welcome. Today's Patient Education Day, Ask the Alpha Docs, is not only about Alpha One antitrypsin deficiency, medical advancements, and patient care, it is also about building community. Alpha One is unique in many ways, but it is also unique in that it has an incredible community of patients, uh, programs, and services. Our goal here today is that you leave inspired, informed, and really having a better understanding of what is available to you in the Alpha One community. Alpha One Canada is a not-for-profit national organization. The organization was founded over 15 years ago to support patients, to advocate for timely diagnosis and treatment, and to provide educational resources for patients, caregivers, and healthcare professionals. At Alpha One Canada, our number one goal is to create awareness and to provide support, and really to provide a navigation to the right programs in this community. That is why today we've invited leaders in lung health, like our friends with the uh, Quebec Lung Association, thank you for coming, and the leaders in the Alpha One community to help you better understand who each of us are and what we're doing to bring awareness to this rare disease while meeting the needs of you, the patients. So I would first like to introduce Ms. Dalila Villalobos. Dalila is the registry coordinator with Alpha One Canada Registry, and today she will provide you with a brief overview of who and what the registry is. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Dalila. Uh, I've met some of you yesterday night. Bonjour. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Alpha One Canadian Registry. What is that, what is that we do? Um, this is an initiative led by Dr. Chapman. And, oh, what is that I have to? Okay, here we are. So the purpose of the registry is to identify and gather information about Canadians with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency and to coordinate research efforts in an international level. This is to better understand why some people remain without symptoms and some other people develop uh, symptomatic alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So the participants may be asked if they're willing to participate in research trials that might improve diagnosis, assessment, and management of the disease. So we have a list of the patients, and if anything new comes up, we can contact them and say there is a new research trial, there is a new medication, and provide them with appropriate information. Okay, so what happens if you decide to be part of the registry? So we gather information, and the information that is learned may benefit other patients with alpha-1 in the future. And all the information is held in a strict confidence, and the participation is totally voluntary. So all the, at the time of enrollment, we do ask the patients to have some baseline medical information and one questionnaire, and we do a yearly follow-up. So the yearly follow-up is only same thing, a few questions about symptoms and if the patients had any new CT scan or any new blood tests that we need to be aware of. We do have the Alpha One website. This is www.alpha1canadianregistry.com. There is a lot of information for patients and for the physicians. So you can go in there and you can see uh, a lot of information about what the symptoms are, how the genetics work, and for the physicians, how the tests need to be done. It's especially good for family doctors when they have questions about what, how, how do they get for the patients to be tested. So it's a good tool for, for everyone. And we have a social media, we have a Twitter account, and we're gonna be tweeting today about what's going on. And it's a Alpha One Canadian Registry. So if you have any questions, we'll be sitting at the end of the table. We'll be providing with information. Thank you. Is that your name right? <laughs> Thank you, Dalila. Uh, next, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Bob Barrett. 
He is the uh, Alphanet Canada CEO, and he will provide you a brief overview of who and what uh, Alphanet Canada is and the services that they provide. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bob Barrett. I'm CEO of Alphanet Canada. And Alphanet Canada is a registered charity. Uh, we were founded three years ago. We employ two um, Alphanet patient service coordinators, David McKinney in Eastern Canada and Ernie Engels in Western Canada. Uh, we also have uh, Mike Ben, who's the general manager. We have a board of directors which are a majority alpha and a majority Canadian. Uh, today we have Ed Spears here, we have Bob Green, and we have Randall Plant. We also have Dr. James Hogg on our uh, board. Um, we provide uh, education and support services for over 200 alphas throughout Canada. Uh, we have a website. We provide educational materials, and Mike is back in the corner over there with a lot of our literature, if anyone wants to pick some up. And you can find out more information about us at alphanetcanada.ca. And we'll be around throughout the weekend if you have any other questions. Thank you. <laughs> 